look is goth hello kitty we're doing black and we're doing pink and those are really the only two colors you need unless you have other colors which are necessary for this look but mostly just black and pink has this ever happened to you bring, bring. hello hi martina we're gonna go out uh, 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 movie editing together simon what do friends do hey party we're gonna go out partying together we only have 20 minutes to get going. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I didn't say bye to my friend. Bye! And then I hung up. What are you gonna do? Well, this makeup tutorial is gonna be like an under 20 minutes, probably more like five minutes. Slap things on your face and then run out the door and everyone will be like, oh my God, how did you do that? And you'll be like, it took me hours. And you like flick your pony hair and stuff like that. So yeah. Pony hair, pony hair? I didn't, it's like a pony hair. It's like ponies, right? I'm a pony. Isn't that? Ponytail! I've lost my mind. Rip it though, rip it though, super slow motion. Anyways, this look is for all the times you want to go out. You only have a little bit of time to get ready and you want to look like crazy and popping. Let's do this thing. All right, you're gonna need five colors if you want to do it exactly like I'm doing it, but you could probably get away with just three colors. And if you really want to get away with it, you could probably just do two colors. If you're looking for something really simple, you could go for one or you could go for zero, which would be no color, which would probably be the easiest out of all of them. But I digress. First thing you want to do, you want something for your makeup to stick to because you're gonna be out partying all night as you edit your YouTube videos going for like a white color this is makeup forever and I'm just gonna rub it all over my eyeball ooh you like that don't you eyeball oh yeah it feels so good oh yeah and I'm taking it up to my eyebrow oh no I'm making awkward faces and don't realize it I'm all like uh, I hate when that happens it's really hard to keep your mouth shut like that <gasps> am I suffering from flaccid jaw syndrome I have my white base down, which will help my makeup stick. Now I'm gonna add something sparkly because I really like sparkles. This is from Korea, so if you don't live in Korea, I don't know what to tell you, but you should probably just come to Korea. It's from Etude House, and this is called Look at My Eyes Icing, Strawberry Icing. That's quite the name, Korea. It's sparkly and a little bit pink, and since this is so smoky and like dark looking, I wanna make it a little bit like pretty and light. So I'm gonna be putting that in the corner, this little part of my eyeball, and then I'm gonna also bring it up top. Can you guys see the sparkles? Think of this as a very small triangle cheese wedge. That's all you're putting it in. So far, it looks like I've accomplished absolutely nothing. Yes! I've got my super rainbowlicious thing. Rainbowlicious! And I'm taking the color that looks like it's almost gone right here at the bottom. Eh. The, meow. Me, me, wait a second, this one. I'm just looking for a really, really pale pink. I'm gonna be putting that right beside my sparkly area. This is my smushy bushy pencil brush, technical term. You can tell it's smushy bushy because the bristles are almost the same size as the actual post and the, there's tons of little bristles all packed together. So because I'm trying to paint my eyeball, I wanna have as many packed in bristles as possible. I'm putting this right in the middle only. I'm not rubbing it like this, because if I do that, the color will be like And then I'll look in the mirror and be like Oh, there's nothing there! What I want to be doing is going onto my eyeball. It still looks like I haven't done anything to my eyes, right? Well, just a little bit. Don't worry, this area is gonna get crazy. Switching over to my crazy ridiculous, it's makeup forever, but any ridiculous hot pink that you have. I also have the matching hot pink over here, and I'm gonna apply this with my fingers again, because it's kind of like jelly. And I want to be putting this on the leftover corner. Oh yeah. Even if you don't have a crease, there's a bone, I'm gonna go to underneath that bone. So if you touch your bone, you can be like, ow, oh, that's my bone. Don't go over your bone, because then you might have like super clown pink eyes. You wanna go like under your bone. Don't worry if it looks a little bit messy, it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna be using my favorite smooshy brush, and I'm gonna be kind of like shading it all in. And this is just optional. I'm gonna add a little bit of the exact same hot pink color on top of my hot pink. Because I'm using a kind of jelly one, I find that you end up getting those gross, crusty cream cheese creases. Crusty cream cheese creases. I don't like that, that's because it's all jelly. So I'm gonna put a very tiny little bit on top of it. Taking my same hot pink color, I want to start moving this up a little bit higher. You want to do like little tiny circles like that. And the little tiny circles will help spread around all your color. And I'm going to start doing little tiny circles and bringing it up higher. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, my turtle face again. Unbelievable without making faces. It's really tough to do. Okay, so you guys can see how it's getting higher up here. I haven't added any more color yet. Like whatever I put on originally, I'm just kind of smooshing it in towards the middle again. So I want to have like a nice shaded look, like from white to light pink to hot pink. That's what I'm going for. Kind of like someone airbrushed my face. Yay. What's that movie where the people drink that potion and then they become alive, but they're dead. And then there's that guy who I'm pretty sure is Bruce Willis looking like an old man. And then death becomes her. Ha ah! ha. Thank you. Would have driven me crazy all day. Ah yes, the smoky look. I don't want to look like so smoky, like as if someone punched me in the face and I'm like, I'm a panda. And everyone's like, who invited the panda? And I'm like, I'm not that big. I guess maybe I'm a little big. And pandas don't wear pink eyeshadow. That's ridiculous. Why would you call me a panda? I'm gonna use black. Actually, it's not quite black. It's like a light black. Is that even possible to say light black? That color there is what I'm using. I'm going for a V shape only. Think of Sailor Venus, right? Sailor Venus! Except not V, more like Sailor! Greater than thou! Isn't that like the greater than sign? Less than. Less, wait, wait. No, because I'm on this side. Martina is greater than something. And I'm just putting a very little bit in the corner and then I'm gonna be working up and down in like a V pattern. If you go like, oh yeah, that's good, then your whole eye will just turn black and all your hard work is, is for nothing. Okay, here I go. Bottom V, top V. Switching back to your smushy brush. And it's smushy because you see how puffy it is. That's gonna help like move everything in. We're gonna do the same thing before. We're doing V shapes. I actually didn't put anything on this brush. So I'm just using it to blend in my colors. So a little smushy circles again in the exact same pattern V. Is it looking blended? Okay, so so far this is the look we got. Now I'm gonna call it the Lightning rainbow. That's right, lightning rainbow, because it goes above your eyebrows like or like a rainbow. Didn't say that very confidently, did I? White or really, really pale light yellow, or it could be very, very pale light pink. The point is just to do like a white color, and I'm just doing that where all the colors missing at the top here, like these. Uh -huh. And I'm just going back and forth. You really could just leave like this if you want to, but I'm using black or you could use like a gray. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it not underneath my eye, but on my waterline, which is that part on the inside. Some people who have sensitive eyes don't do this because you're gonna put it on and then you're gonna be like, it burns! And you're gonna be like, ah! Martina, I'll kill you. Ah! So I don't recommend it. If you don't have sensitive eyes and you've done this before, feel free. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Uh. And final step, I'm gonna be using a hot pink liner and I'm gonna be doing that underneath it. If you don't have this, you can use the exact same hot pink eyeshadow and just use like a little smoogy smoogy brush like here or here. These are like little tiny short brushes that are really, really firm. Here I go. If you wanna make this really crazy and dramatic looking, you can do black on your upper eyelid, either using like a liquid eyeliner or you could just use like a plain black eyeliner and just line it across. Last thing I'm gonna do is put on mascara on my bottom eyelashes, which I feel like I don't need to really tell you about. So that should be the final look. I've only done this with black and pink before. What other color combo do you think would look really good? Purple and black would be better, or like green and black would be weird. Let me know. Ooh, I almost forgot. I think coming up soon, I'm gonna show you guys my hairband collection. It is vast and it takes up walls and walls and walls.